So you've decided to take chemistry. Congratulations. As a chemistry teacher, I am proud that you are taking a class that will change the way you look at the world. Now, students take chemistry for all kinds of different reasons, and that's a good thing, but it's important that you understand how chemistry is going to be a much different class than other science classes you may have taken. Knowing the big differences ahead of time might save you some heartburn, which could be solved with a little bit of acid-base neutralization, but I digress. Big difference number one, chemistry is mathematical. Measurement has been a part of your science curriculum since your wee little hands could hold a ruler in elementary school. Leaf sizes, bean counts, rainfall level, maybe even a stream pH or two. Chemistry, however, is one of the first science classes that really focuses on solving mathematical problems with that data. It can be as simple as calculating a density or as complex as solving a gas stoichiometry problem. What stoichiometry, you ask? Eh, uh, let's save that for another time. My advice, brush up on your algebra and your conversion skills. Get used to showing units and get used to showing all of your work. Trust me, that's gonna really pay off. Big difference number two, chemistry is cumulative. Now, perhaps I'm just biased by my own science upbringing, but before chemistry, science classes always felt a little bit like an appetizer sampler plate. For instance, in biology, you might be learning about ecology one month and the circulatory system the next. You could theoretically tank one unit and get a fresh start with the next one, since there wasn't always a clear connection between the content. Chemistry, however, builds much more intentionally like a language class. And when you are expected to build off the prior knowledge that you never acquired in the first place, get ready for your problems in chemistry to really start to snowball. Imagine trying to jump hurdles when you've never learned how to tie your shoes. My advice, ask a lot of questions, even if they're only to clarify what you think you know. Work ahead, or at the very least, try hard not to fall behind. Big difference number three, memorization won't be enough. This last one's a little tougher to explain, so let me give you a quote by the famous physicist Richard Feynman to help out. You can know the name of a bird in all the languages of the world, but when you're finished, you will know absolutely nothing whatever about the bird. So let's look at the bird and see what it's doing. That's what counts. I learned very early the difference between knowing the name of something and knowing something. Now don't get me wrong, memorization is great, and having the content at your fingertips will help you a lot in chemistry class. But most students are really surprised at how little they understand chemistry until they start working out the connections for themselves. Chemistry will not make sense until it makes sense. So you're going to have to roll up your sleeves and put in your time making mistakes. But it is only through this often frustrating and inefficient wrestling match with the content that you will finally go from, as Dr. Feynman points out, knowing the name of something and really knowing something. So my advice, focus on making connections between each unit and the older content you've already covered. Find extra practice problems, or better yet, make up your own and share them with a classmate or your teacher. And I'll talk about how useful of an activity this can be in a later video. So there it is. Chemistry is mathematical, it is cumulative, and it requires an ownership of the material that goes far beyond memorization. Work with these ideas, and chemistry is gonna be a lot easier for you to master. And in my next video, I'll tell you three important skill sets that you should master if you expect to get an A in chemistry. If you found this video helpful, consider liking and subscribing. And if you have some other ideas or opinions about what students should know before taking a chemistry class, please post them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.